How are you doing today? My name is Derek Drakeford with Purpose University. Today, I want to talk about the power of the slacker paradigm. You know, as a teacher, you know, some of the worst places could be the teacher's lounge. That's where we hear the slacker words, or this student's a slacker, that student's a slacker, or this one's a slacker. Then when you get in your class and you see that student, you know, even before you know who they are, you think they're a slacker. So you look at them different. You respond to their questions different. And believe it or not, that student can feel that you think they're a slacker. So now that student has two ways of responding. One, I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm not a slacker. I'm going to come in early. I'm going to work late. I'm going to study hard. I'm going to do my work even harder. I'm going to prove to you that I'm not a slacker. That's one response. It takes a lot of energy and fortitude. The second response is the student says mentally, you know what, you're right. I wanted to change a new leaf in this class. I wanted to be a different person, but you see me as a slacker, and I think you're right. I agree with you. And it becomes even so much harder and so more difficult when the student has three or four or five teachers who think they're a slacker. So I want you to be thinking about your students. I want you to be thinking about the students who are in the back of your mind, maybe the side or the front of your mind. You may have developed a paradigm trap for that student. I want you to today set them free. Set them free. Even your past stereotypes and proven experience, give them a chance again. Imagine and hope for a reservoir of goodness in this student and kill that paradigm that says that they are a slacker. Thank you.